And Crystal Hall from Tanager Place joins us now. And today we're talking about the Freedom Schools program. Thanks for being here today, Crystal. Thanks for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Yeah, excited to talk about this. Tell us about what the Freedom program is. Yeah, so my role at Tanager is I'm the uh, Director of Community-Based and Prevention Services. And Tana, the Freedom Schools program falls under our prevention services. So the reason that our program aligns so well with the mission of Tanager is that it allows us to be able able to work with kids, have those daily touch points with kids, and really surround them with the supports that they need to be able to navigate some of those uh, both academic needs that they might have as well as those social emotional needs. So. And how has it impacted kids at Tanager Place? Yeah, so we are we actually uh, just wrapped up our first school year pilot. Freedom Schools is traditionally a six-week summer program, and we obtained permission from the Children's Defense Fund, which is kind of the owner, the parent organization, essentially, of Freedom Schools, to be able to do this school year pilot. And we had some really great data sets that came out of that. So we know that, for example, 53% of our kids showed growth in their literacy skills. And then we also know, too, that their social and emotional gains were increasing as well. We some clearly very still important have, aspects, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Clearly still have some work to do, but it was a very exciting thing. And I'm also happy to tell you that we were also able to take our scholars, which is what we call our students, on a trip to Washington, D.C. just this past weekend. So, uh, so we had 23 young men and women, middle school-aged youth, uh, who were able to make the trip with us. We chartered a bus out, uh, which was an adventure. And then while out in D.C., we saw some really great things. And the the scholars had an amazing time out there. Yeah, about that DC trip, what were some of the highlights? So I think if you were to kind of ask our scholars right now, the top two things that they really enjoyed was the Smithsonian's Museum of African American History and Culture. Um, it's just an amazing place where there are so many things that come together. Um, many of our scholars are very musically inclined, so they love the music exhibits. And then of course the walk through history was a bit sobering, but they really enjoyed that experience. The other thing that they were able to do out there was they were able to visit the Capitol and the the comments from the kids about uh, the fresco in the ceiling and you know the pieces of art they loved the fact that there was gold in some of the paintings and such you know um, they really enjoyed that as well uh, we were able to get a picture in front of the White House and that was also amazing very neat well Crystal thanks for joining us here today yeah thank you for having me and stay with TV 9 we'll be right back